So, okay, um, good afternoon everybody. I'm going to continue the series of the talk, Nutrients Needed by Our Body Health, with the topic today, Calcium and Our Body Health. I think everybody know calcium is one of the important... Okay, so uh, some facts about calcium. So it's the important mineral in our body. Uh, I think our body need mineral. I think calcium is one of the important mineral needed. And 99% uh, of the calcium actually found in the bones and teeth. So that is where body store the calcium. And 1% actually found in the blood or serum. This is important. I mentioned just now, calcium is for your hormone, for your heartbeat, and even for nervous system. That's where this 1% of the calcium play the important role. And it's essential for our body function I mentioned. And a human body cannot produce calcium adequately. So we have to take calcium from our food or supplements. And um, hypercalcemia or calcium deficiency disease occur when your blood calcium level is low. How you know your blood calcium is low? You can do a blood calcium check. Later I'll show you what's the, what's the desirable level. So calcium deficiency might not have early symptom. Um, it might only show up when the deficiency is really a lot. And uh, some symptom can include confusion or memory loss. That is actually lack of calcium. I'll show you most of the cases later. And actually lack of calcium can be life threatening because one of the important function of calcium is actually heartbeat. So if you if the blood calcium drop below 1.9 millimole per liter and the person might have cardiac address means that the heart really cannot beat when heart cannot beat you know what's the consequences right or even seizure so actually calcium and the blood level you can test it with blood tests it must be somewhere between 2 to 2.5 millimole per liter and if you want to know the calcium whether it's in, enough in your bones you can do a bone mineral test as well I'll show you what is the enough bone mineral level. Okay, let's start with the seven symptom of calcium deficiency. The first one is called muscle problem. Okay, so muscle ache, cramps or spasms are actually earlier signs of calcium deficiency. So actually, um, in fact, I have one. Uh, customer last time and um, I have shared this before actually uh, one of the customer mother-in-law actually he have this uh, always have this muscle ache so the doctor actually suspect it might be due to lack of calcium in view of her actually a uh, dieting problem so she actually asked her to go and buy calcium actually he come and take her calcium actually it improved just within <laughs> one days so actually this muscle ache can just as simple as lack of calcium and uh, you tend to feel the pain in the tight and arms particularly at the underarms or under tight when you walk or moving and uh, when if you already have more severe of deficiency it might the person might have dumbness or tingling in your hand or arms and even around your mouth and some of time we might say hey must this uh, kind of uh, cram or egg might be due to we say xie qi bu tong, lack of uh, blood flow okay or the lack of the qi flow and sometimes you can do some exercise to overcome all this numbness or even uh, muscle ache that due to all this lack of uh, qi flow or blood flow but this symptom that due to the calcium deficiency it cannot disappear just by activity so the person might have to wait until you have enough calcium in your body for the person to get rid of the muscle problem. So that is point number one. Lack of calcium also let the person feel tired or ex 
we call extreme fatigue, extreme tired, and it might cause level of insomnia and sleepiness. Because sometimes the person cannot sleep well, it's just because lacking of calcium. But calcium is very important for our nervous system. So this kind of person who have lack of calcium might have experienced extreme fatigue, lethargic, and the overall feeling of slugginess. Always feel like not moving, don't like to move at all. And um, even have some kind of light headedness, dizziness, and the brain fog. In case you know what's brain fog, huh? brain fog is that suddenly the person don't know what I'm thinking about. Just blank, okay? We, we say blank at the moment, we call brain fog. So we involve lack of focus, forgetfulness, and confusion. Why? Because calcium is needed for the neutron to transmit signal. So the nervous system needs calcium as a source of transmitting. So you lack of calcium, then you cannot transmit the signal. Just imagine when you talk through the phone of two person, suddenly the, communi the communication channel breaks down, you cannot hear from a person, the message cannot go through. This is the analogy of important of calcium mineral in nervous system transmission of this uh, nerve uh, neuron. Okay, lack of calcium also can have new and skin problem. So, um, calcium is also the mac of your nail and also your skin. So, layer of calcium might cause skin to become dry and easy. And uh, a lot of researchers believe that hypocalcemia actually lead to eczema and uh, psoriasis. I think you all know that these are two of the skin problem. And uh, surprisingly, hair loss, huh? actually a condition that cause hair loss, you can show on the picture in this kind of patches, huh? is actually because of calcium deficiency. So sometimes if you see people have this kind of problem, my advice them need to take more calcium. Okay, we move on to my bone. So lack of calcium actually will have this thing called osteopenia and the osteoporosis. What's the two difference between, between these two? Osteopenia reduces mineral density of bones. It can lead to osteoporosis. It means that osteopenia is early stage of the osteoporosis. So as I mentioned, I think you all know that the body, once you have enough calcium in the blood, it can store the calcium in the bones. It's just like if you have money, you store the, put your money in a bank. I think that's what most of the people do. But however, if you always draw the money from the bank, then your bank account become empty. Same thing, if your blood lack of calcium, you always draw from the bone. The bone will become empty. That's the meaning of osteoporosis. So bone need very high level of calcium to stay long. So once your blood calcium is low, they will transfer the calcium from the bone to the blood. So that is how the mechanism works. So the relationship of this calcium in the blood and calcium in the bone, that's how it work. So I hope you can have a better understanding of this. And um, how serious is osteoporosis? Let me show you some statistics in Singapore. And um, osteoporosis or low bone mass actually increase in the bone fragility and that actually lead to fracture. In year 2006, actually there are about 55,000 of Singaporean women over age of 50 years old suffer from osteoporosis. And uh, this uh, lead to actually about 152 hip fracture in a man and 400 and two hip fracture in women. Hip fracture is actually uh, very troublesome because you need a long recovery time together with operations. And why this happened? And uh, surprisingly, Singapore, we claim to be a country that have we take in a lot of good food. But you look at the statistic, the average daily calcium intake of Singaporeans was 627 mg per day. Just 
78% of the recommended level, 800 mg per day, according to Ministry of Health. So it's very interesting, right? So actually, it seems that we really not take enough calcium or supplement calcium. And um, this hip fracture problem, actually, 20% of them die within two years from the hip fracture because they are old. 20% have to be uh, semi and fully dependent. And 42% cannot move around easily. And 8% is actually have to stay in the healthcare facility, maybe bed bounded. So I think don't just look lightly on this overshoot porosis problem. Okay, who is the risk of suffering from osteoporosis? So if you are female, okay, so um, it's not that these uh, illnesses bias, okay? Because female tend to have um, things like every month they may have this um, menstrual cycle. So this menstrual cycle come, you will drain out uh, calcium from the blood. Second thing, you also link to hormones. And over 65 years old, also a high risk group. I think when we are getting older, our bone tend to become uh, fragile, and uh, also lead to also link to family history, thin and small built body. That means if you are if you are thin or small built, then comparatively your bones will have you have lesser space to store calcium okay and then when the body needs calcium you will draw more so and uh, in menopause or if ovary removed so this is also a high risk group because when a person is going through menopause the estrogen level will drop and when the estrogen level drop actually they will actually lost bone mass in actual fact according to the study uh, women lost up to 10% of their bone mass in the first five years after menopause. Not consuming enough calcium in their diet is one of the factors. Poor nutrients. Don't exercise regularly. Once you exercise regularly, so you put some stress on the bones. The bone that know the bone will know that hey, I need to make the bone strong because to so-called cater for uh, strength when the person doing exercising. If you are not moving around, like uh, always try to uh, sit in the sofa and watch TV, then the bone might realize that hey, I don't need that kind of a strong, the strong uh, bone. So this is very interesting. Smoke or drink excessive alcohol will cause a lot of free radical. That actually also no good. Use certain use of the certain medicine, like for example steroid certain diuretic blood thinner medicine will actually drain out the calcium from the blood and bones as well okay so you can know you can know actually whether you have enough calcium in your bone or not just now you can do a blood test to see whether you have enough calcium in your blood but in the bone you can do a bone density scan we call bmd so if the value is norm is more than minus one if you less than minus 2.5 means that the person suffer from osteoporosis okay so let's continue on the uh, deficiency of the calcium okay number five symptom of calcium deficiency is pms or uh, pre menstrual syndrome pain painless so actually research link low calcium level to pms and uh, in one of the study in 2017, actually they realized that if the lady who take enough calcium for two months actually improve the PMS like improve the mood and uh, reduce the rate of fluid detention. I think a lot of women might know that when the menstrual cycle come, they might have stomach pain or that is because actually a lot of swelling or water retention in the stomach or even in the breast or even in the extremities. So this is because of the this actually because of the uh, lack of calcium. So and um, in 2019 a study concluded that low level of vitamin D and calcium during a second half of, of contribute to symptom of PMS. 
So actually, the calcium effect of PMS is correlated to the production of serotonin. In case you know what is serotonin, we have melatonin. This one actually helps the person to rest at night. Serotonin is help the person to wake up in the daytime and it actually help to stabilize the mood. So calcium and level of serotonin are close related. Okay, we move on to number six. Calcium and dental problem. When the person lack of calcium, it will pull the calcium from the bone and the teeth. So it can lead to dental problem including weak root, irritated gum, brittle teeth and tooth decay. So actually, for infants, for baby, actually they also have this uh, lack of calcium can lead to delayed tooth formation. So actually, I heard about um, a case where one of a uh, diamond in um, Zhuangho, when uh, his child was born, actually was born with not enough calcium in the baby's bone and the teeth. So he had to consume a lot of calcium supplement. So this lack of calcium can happen on the newborn baby as well. Number seven is the depression. Uh, calcium deficiency has been linked to mood disorder, including depression. Okay, also more scientific evidence are needed because lacking of calcium will make the nervous system not able to communicate. So actually, so um, enough calcium is important. If not, it might have this kind of a uh, syndrome. So I think we always, I always tell people, so it's important to um, consume enough calcium. And I'm not sure you know that some people, uh, they are very scared. Some people, you touch, you touch him from behind only, he just scared. So this kind of syndrome might be because lack of calcium. Okay, we move on to calcium intake. So how to make sure that we have adequate calcium intake? Well, certain food like milk, cheese and yogurt are rich in calcium. Anchovies, small fish, uh, this is my um, favorite food since I'm childhood. You know, I was born in the fishing village. So since young, we eat a lot of small fish. I mean, that's why it makes my, our bones strong maybe. Dark green leafy vegetable. Dark color vegetable in short is also very good, very rich in calcium. And certain beans, seaweed, sesame also very good. So you should take this those food that are rich in calcium. Okay, if or you can choose some calcium supplement. So but when you choose a calcium supplement, you must choose those with efficient assimilation for effective utilization of the body type. So what are the calcium supplement? Calcium supplement actually in the market are chemically synthesized, so the absorption rate is lower, but they also natural source of calcium, which is a better absorption rate. Some calcium come from the bones, okay, the animal bones, cow's milk, or even from the seashell, or even from uh, things like don't mixed. Okay, bones, seashell, or uh, mineral type of uh, Calcium might contain heavy metal. I think milk is still the best source of calcium uh, compared to the rest of the calcium time. And uh, because they rich content of calcium and protein and easy to estimate by human body. So in conclusion of this side, I'll tell you that milk source of calcium is always the best. So with this, I will introduce our product, Jiangho Calcium Plus Tablets. So calcium general plus tablet is the natural concentrated milk calcium. I mentioned just now milk calcium is the best and it enhanced with vitamin D3, CPP, our ex I have one set of CPP for enhancing calcium assimilation and utilization by our body. So this is very important. So what are the function and benefit of our this product? So actually, he has high quality milk calcium. So in summary, it increases bone mass, prevents osteoporosis, regulates the heartbeat, 
and uh, facilitate the transmission of neural signal and excite the secretion of hormones. And our Jiao calcium not only has milk calcium, he also has this component called soya isoflavones. This is a very good component because it helps in osteoporosis, reduce menopause syndrome. And um, that's why women in the uh, near age of menopause, which is a 45 to 55, is good to take our calcium product. Prevent cervical breast and prostate cancer, men also good. Prevent cardiovascular disease, soya isoprene have this particular benefit. We enhance vitamin D3, D3 actually enhance the absorption rate. And we also have this calcium caffeine phosphotype, CPP. Actually, what's the meaning of CPP? Actually, it allows better assimilation of calcium. And uh, that is also one of the cure for the menopause syndrome. So, uh, let me summarize what's the overall benefit of calcium to the body first. Actually, number one, first the transmission of the neural signal. Regular heartbeats is important. Heart is autonomous. Heart actually is, can beat by itself. It's not controlled by the brain. That's why sometimes when the person brain death, heart still can be beat by itself. But to achieve this autonomous, the signal has to send through within the heart chamber to have the kind of beating effect. So actually, this sending of this is through calcium. That's why we have this channel calcium uh, broker to block to bring down the heartbeat, that is also one of the way to treat hypertension. Prevent cardiovascular disease by using build up the arterial plaque. So this is actually by soya isoflavone. Prevent cervical breast and prostate cancer. Reduce menopause syndrome. Okay, and uh, excite circulation of hormone. This is very important. So and um, so this is our overall benefit of our body. So I want to mention to you all have these two process how actually blood calcium taking calcium from the bone this through this uh, osteo class process when the body has not enough when, or rather when the blood has not enough calcium it will instruct osteo class to break down the bones to take the calcium so the other opposite will be once you have enough calcium in the blood you actually can store back the calcium to the bones so actually this is through osteoblast and a lot of people might heard about our new product, Yongkian Eye, which is very good for prevent us from viral infection. This is also a product that contains osteoblasts. So this is a product that actually can build the stronger bones. That's a Yongkian Eye. So he have this osteoblast. Okay, let me summarize. We have so many calcium products in the market. Why must we choose? Jaho Calcium Plus, as I mentioned just now, is actually using concentrated milk daily calcium, easy to assimilate and easy to absorb by our body, enhanced with vitamin D3 and CPP. I'll explain what CPP later. And uh, enhanced with Ling Zi, actually, that is actually also good for utilization and assimilation, easy to consume. And what is CPP? I think this is a very unique formula. A lot of calcium in the market might have calcium and the vitamin D3, but not many calcium in the market have vitamin D3 and CPP together. And it's extracted from cow milk and it's actually approved by the Health Ministry of Japan as a specific healthcare food supplement. So in Japan, actually the Health Ministry recommend their population to take this CPP and it really can absorb the absorption rate of the in the body. So what it does is you just imagine Calcium, when it go through in your intestine, it tends to sink in certain part of the intestine. So actually, this is like a stellar. It actually stir the calcium to any part of the intestine so it can have better absorption. So that's how it's explained. Okay. So who should consume our supplement? People who dislike vegetable. Okay, why? Because vegetable give you certain portion of calcium in your daily diet. Daily suffer from menopause or ovary remove because this one actually causes a drop in estrogen that actually pre that causes drain out of calcium as well. People who are heart cause smoker and drinker, 
pregnant women and growing children because they need to strengthen the bones. People who do not exercise regularly, okay, so I mentioned already, so this group of people who need calcium. So suggested guideline. And uh, per our Singapore HPB recommendation, adult actually need to consume about close to 800 mg to 1000 mg per day. Okay, so our calcium per tablet is only 85. So in actual fact, we have to take about 10 to 12 tablets a day. So a lot of people might ask, how come uh, the calcium given by, let's say for example, the polyclinic, I only take once, once already 1000 mg. Why stronghold cannot make one tablet that have 1000 mg? I think you have to understand, because calcium absorption is actually not easy. And um, in order for better body to better absorb the calcium, actually it's good to spread taking three times. So that's the reason we make the calcium dose at a very low that to enhance your absorption rate for the body so that's why it's best to take three times a day before or after meal okay i have only one testimony uh this uh man from the puchong malaysia actually 79 years old he actually have hypertension high cholesterol and uh, actually got one time he actually fought you know home actually causes some um, uh, fractured, hairline fractured. So actually he start our Soho product and also Jaiho Calcium Plus tablet. Actually, surprisingly, the healing is faster than what doctor has mentioned. I think this is a very good testimony. Okay, so that's all for the sharing of this topic today. I think uh, the intention is to give you a better understanding about calcium, why our body needs calcium and why our Jaiho Calcium Plus tablet is a good choice of calcium.